what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about screen five again here today so today we got an exclusive new poster in the woodsboro horror film club group on facebook the new poster that we got was for screen five of course and it shows us ghost face wielding his knife in front of his face or their knife in front of their face and in the reflection of the knife we have sydney prescott nev campbell in all of her gorgeous glory so this is one of i think at this point three new posters that we've gotten so far all of the posters all three of them have been amazing there was one that did just say coming soon but now i think this one and the original had january 14th on it so i think this is a sign that they're very confident in sticking with that january 14th date no signs of them moving the film at all uh, we'll see if they go and commit to a day and date release that's always something they could do they could always announce that very later on in the year december maybe closer to the release date next year january sometime about a day and date release but hopefully they'll commit to just doing theatrical only and this will be one of the biggest slasher successes in recent memory for us since halloween 2018 i'll say or i guess in this case since halloween kills but i'm just saying halloween 2018 because halloween 2018 overperformed compared to what halloween kills did so I, I would hope we can get the same thing for screen five so the other thing i want to talk about with this was this bloody image that we got of they also shared like a new image of a doorknob with blood on it and this image of course seems to be in the mocker house where this is taking place or what is going on here whether or not this is even be going to be in the film or if this is just like a promo still we'll have to wait and see but I, I believe this would have something to do with the film and it looks like it's in the mock house at what point in time i would have to predict this is i would say of course this is when ghostface terrorizes the party that goes on at the mocker house and somebody would probably have died in that closet that or somebody was stuffed in the closet this might also be happening during the final showdown between the now revealed killers or killer and the protagonist the new final girl sam and our returning final girls sydney prescott and gail weathers who many people don't even there's a lot of people I'd, i've never really thought about this with gail but she could be a final girl she could be considered a part of the sydney prescott final girl discussion she's been right there since the beginning she's been in the final confrontation with the killer many times uh and she's just always been the outside of sydney prescott the other lady that we had leading the leading the group was gail she was always right there even though the two were at each other's necks <laughs> in the first two films she was always right there along for the very end confrontation with the killers uh even part of scream not as much as scream three but definitely in scream four so i don't i don't think a lot of people will give her enough credit for being a final girl gail weathers that being but so I would imagine that that image with that bloody doorknob is going to just be in the mocker house during the party and that'll be something that happens at the very end i would only assume if the mocker house party happens earlier in the film i think that would be a clever way to throw us off but i feel like what they're gonna do is just try to be very formulaic in the sense of certain events that happened in the original they're going to happen in the order that they happened in that film in this film when we're just going to be updating it for a new audience while still being a con continuation in and of itself without being a remake full-fledged anyway <laughs> so the other thing i wanted to talk about outside of those images was just how I, the other thing i guess they announced today was with a a box of cereal that they're gonna have coming out soon our very own scream cereal i'll leave a link to that in the description of this video i think that's all very exciting things the marketing so far i remember we were all kind of like oh they're not doing enough they're not they're not gonna make any money at the box office at this point because they're not they're not even promoting the movie now the marketing started they're not even showing any signs of slowing down if anything i feel like each little thing that comes out is signs of them speeding up we already have a second trailer that we know is coming we don't know when exactly we're going to get it. My bet would be again sometime in November, maybe early December. Definitely, of course, before the January 14th release date. There's a lot of stuff that they are doing fine right now in terms of the marketing. The fact that the ghost face voice was added to TikTok, very nice touch. I do want to say that I know a lot of people are getting out of hand with it. I know that personally just because of some of the things I've had sent over to me from peers and how they're using the app. And it's like, that's not what that's for, <laughs> but go, go crazy and promote the film. I've also seen people discuss how people seem to be like developing a ghost face cult of sorts on tiktok i'm not on tiktok i don't really use that app i literally downloaded it for the ghost face text to speech feature that's all i downloaded it for once that's gone i'm removing that app i don't use it 
So this whole cult stuff that I'm hearing about people using the text to speech and just doing weird stuff on TikTok, I'm not surprised. But I guess, you know, the more attention, the better. Hopefully that'll reflect in the money that gets raked in when this film opens up this upcoming January. Also, I know that within the poster going back to the whole sydney prescott reflection thing i like that they're gonna use her still of course i no doubt in my mind that they were gonna do this no doubt in my mind i'm glad that they're using nev campbell to market the film brings let sydney prescott be the thing that brings people into the seats my only i guess negative thing for that would be to those who see this and then they sit down and the story is not really focused on her anymore she's just kind of there i would think that's part the part where they might have some people who aren't satisfied unlike us those of us who are studying this trying to figure it out well before we even watch the movie even if you aren't just staying up to date on all the things coming out poster wise character updates trailer wise tv spots if you're just gonna go all in and watch everything digest everything and just go into the movie pretty much knowing it front to back that's again fine everything is not about the element of surprise i just feel like the people who see this poster uh, if this is something that they start to share with amongst, I guess, outlets, because again, this was an, an exclusive in this Facebook group. If this is something other outlets start to share and maybe if they use it at the theater, which I don't think they will. I just feel like some people would see this because, you know, some people aren't looking up every little detail like some of us do. And they see Sidney Prescott's reflection and they sit down and it's about someone named Sam Carpenter. I, I can see a lot of people being disappointed. Just because of how a lot of people, again, they're not searching every little thing like I know I do and other people do. So Nev Campbell being a part of the marketing in this poster, very nice to see. She looks amazing as always. Uh, the character of Cindy Prescott, I know we all are hoping and praying that she'll make it out alive. There's no doubt in my mind that she is going to make it out alive. Like I said before, I've said this in many of my other videos. I wouldn't mind if the character died. I just know that you probably don't even have anything worthy of killing her off for. So don't bother. Also, you want to honor and respect Wes Craven. So don't do that either. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification to miss video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in next video.